Welcome to the kickoff of the High Voltage Cable Conduit System sub-project. Please feed the YouTube algorithm by giving the video a like. If you want to see more like this, click subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. If you want to chip in on my expenses, I now have Patreon and YouTube memberships. So, I've got to get a high voltage cable, as I've mentioned before, from here all the way to the front and up into the front battery box. So to do that, I'm going to use three quarter inch steel tubes, conduits, pipes, and it'll follow this contour, which will be fun to bend with the bender and then up right about here. To do that, I bought the pipe and then the end fittings, which are critical for this project. These are both uh, compression fittings. They go on the end of the pipe and clamp down. This one will go through the floor of the front batter, the, the frunk and tighten down. Then in order to get the cable through, um, this is actually quite a rather tight radius, which worries me a little bit. And it's a little rough inside, so I'm gonna deburr that and see if I can remove some excess material to make for an easier bend. Then I'm going to heat up this gland nut and thread it onto that right there, which almost works, but it's gonna need a little heat. Then the cable comes through here and I tighten it down with the gland nut. Same thing on the other end, and this will go to the EVTV box and this will go through the batteries. There will be two of these, one going up and one coming back. And uh, it's gonna be fun. Uh, and along the way, it'll use these little hangers to keep it in that um, little trough thing. So let's get started. And in the planning for the high voltage DC to come down here, there's a plate that goes across and I thought I might want it to penetrate that plate and go up in here. But this is the steering rack and above is the old gas tank battery holder that I'm not using for batteries anymore. So I think I'm going to come across this plate and then up right here. This gets me into the front, the frunk, right underneath the front battery box and it will allow me to make my connections. So I'm gonna put that plate back in. The two steel pipes will come across to here and then make a right angle and penetrate up that way. Okay, after measure six times, drill once, I have located the pilot holes for where the orange cables will come up behind the battery box. So, as I start the bending process, I'm thinking to myself, how hard can it be? I watched uh, all of my solar electrician buddies with straight pieces of pipe and a pipe bender like that, and they lickety split they got it bent and installed and the customer was happy all I need to do is a little bending here well of course it's not that easy now if you take a look at the angles that I'm dealing with here I've got a bend here a bend here a bend here and we come along there's a small jig to the right a jig to the left but I'm also changing on this axis it comes across and goes up and then down and then across. So this is a three-dimensional puzzle. This is like Luke Skywalker flying the trench on the Death Star trying to hit the exhaust port. Hey, Star Trek fans, are you with me? This is a nightmare because using this little pipe bender thing, I do not have the control and accuracy I need to make each of these precision bends on three axes, this way, this way, and this way. So I'm gonna give you, after a lot of struggle with another piece of pipe, I'm going to give you some top tips on how to accurately make an incredibly difficult series of bends in two pieces of conduit for your electric car. Build a bench top bending jig. Make very small bends 
and then come up to the true bend. Don't bend too far and try and bend it back. Line your bending mark up with the indicator on the bending tool. Set a fixed reference point on your connecting point and your tube and always make sure they're in alignment. And never say, oh, it fits better if I just let it uh, move over like that. Don't do it. Put a line where you want to make the bend. Put a dot that is in line with the axis of your marking there and put an arrow in the direction you want to make the bend and any notes to help yourself like small bend, strong bend. When possible, try to use the full length of the pipe when you get it because you'll get more leverage when you attempt to make a bend and you won't have to resort to using these ratchet straps to make a bend with a very short lever arm. For complex shapes, cut out a piece of cardboard and use it as a template. If you have to make a sharp bend in a small pipe like this three quarters, and you try and do it in here, you will get kinks. The inside of the curve will ripple like this. Sometimes that's not a problem, like if it's water, it's just gonna add a little bit more resistance, but I'm putting a 17 millimeter electric cable through here and I can't afford uh, any extra interference. So the trick is two things. First, you fill the pipe with sand. You get a, a funnel and a little cup and you fill it in. That way, the sand helps prevent the kinking by moving the force from the inside of the bend to the outside keeping it strong. Get the smallest bag of sand that you can. This pipe only took this much sand and the thing weighs 45 pounds, so it's a little unwieldy. Get a small bag of sand. You first tape off the bottom end with masking tape or electrical tape. You fill in the top and then when it's full, then you put uh, electrical tape at the top and you now have a pipe full of sand. Use heat and use a lot of it and don't be shy. You want the best bend so the metal is going to be much more cooperative when it's really hot. So just go back and forth on the area that you want to bend nice and gentle, get it from all sides, wait until you see a, a light yellow color or a nice orange color, and then commence with the bend. This will take a while, but that's okay. Okay, the pipe bending continues. Unfortunately, we are at a point right at the end of the pipe where I need to make some quite sharp a 45 this way and a 45 that way. The pipe bender isn't doing the job, so I figured, well, let's build a jig. Clamp this down. I've got two ratchet straps pulling on the end, and it's quite effectively starting to make the bend. I do one strap till it's tight, then I do the other one, then the other one, because we've just got these two small ones. You can see those are the bends that I've had to put in, and those are accurate to the position of the undent in the bottom of the car. Plus, it goes up and down, too, if you can see that. This is the last bend. And I'll be happy to see the end of this, and then I get to make another one. Well, I'm not having much luck. Every time I try to do one of these very sharp bends at the end, it does a kink, and then I have to straighten the pipe out. This is what I have to work with. I have to get the pipe to fit in this profile. Down here, bend this way, and then bend that way and come straight out. So I made a template so I don't have to keep going over to the car. And I'm working on something like that, which is going pretty good. And I watched a couple of YouTube videos, and one guy recommended packing the tube with sand. 
So I went to the store and bought the smallest bag of sand they had, packed it full, and then I started doing a bend again and I could see a kink starting. So I broke out the heat and I got this thing nearly red hot in this corner and it just bent nicely as hot metal is supposed to do. Probably not great breathing in the zinc oxide or whatever is in the air right now but I think I've done the first bend and I'm, it looks pretty smooth. I'm going to let that cool down then I will evaluate the counter bend and come this way. But this is not what I had expected for this little mini project, let me tell you. And after bending it with sand and getting it glowing red hot, I've got the curve I want and I'm not gonna bother to make a bend and then bend back. I'm just coming straight here, cut this off, put a gland nut on the end and go up with my power wire. But you can see how I had to follow every little bend and twist all the way down. And it's not just twisting right to left. It actually goes up and down all the way. But it fits in that channel beautifully now. All I have to do is put the brackets on and then make another one, which is a mirror image. Okay, I'm calling this section of the conduit bending complete. We've got this one, which will go here, and it has the 90 degree fitting, and then I've designed a small 3D printed adapter, which will then go to a gland nut, which will take the wire up. And then this one is going to go here to catch a path north same thing happening there. I can't actually mount them yet because I need to pull the orange cable through which is going to be quite tight and I don't know how long the orange cable needs to be because the batteries aren't in their final positions. So we will wrap up this first section of the piping until we get to later after the battery installation. Just before we wrap up I want to thank my Patreons Peter Bouvier and Puppy for their support. We also just popped over 2,000 subscribers, which is quite a nice milestone for my little channel. All support is greatly appreciated. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, please give it a thumbs up. I see that 81% of the viewers aren't subscribed. Please do, as it does help the YouTube algorithm. Take care, and see you next time.